Hello and welcome to episode 218. We're going to be doing key cards with multiple access levels. Now we've done a, a couple of different types of key cards before, uh, but it was sort of like, do you have the red key card? Yes, you do, or no, you don't. We're going to do key cards that have sort of um, five different levels of access. So key card one will only open door one. Key card two will open door one and two. Key card three will open door one, two, three, etc. And to keep track of the number, we are going to use a scoreboard. Setup. Okay. Uh, scoreboard, objectives, add, and um, I just call it level. You can call it whatever you like, obviously. We're done. And let's give ourselves a key card. Well, I've done this very close to the edge today. Never mind. And this will be give level one key card done we will give the nearest player and uh, i'll just use music disc i think we used music disc for one of them last time uh blocks will do and we want some extra information key card i prefer key card 1b 1b there it is and let's give it a name display inside display we want to give it a name and also inside display we'll give it some law um, square inside square apostrophes curly brackets okay what do we want in there speech marks speech marks colon speech marks speech marks text um, Oh, it's just key card level one and I think actually I'll turn we could turn italics off as well italic oops we do need our little uh, speech marks around italic italic false and then inside law let's uh, Let's give it some law as well. Uh, what should we say? What should we say for the allow access? Yeah, allow access to level one. That'll do. Okay, let's press that. Let's have a look at it. Key card level one, C418 blocks. Well, our law hasn't worked there for some reason. So let's have a look at what we've done with our law. It looks okay. Law. Have we done law in the wrong place? Which would be there. Take that out. We put law in the wrong place. Put that on the end. There we go. Allow access to level one. Um, now, are my advanced tooltips F3H? No, I'm not. So my tooltips are hidden. We can remove that C418 blocks bit. Okay, so let's go back in and go right to the end. And we will do hide flags and we'll hide all flags. I think it might still say the miscellaneous though. That's a bit better. Key card one, allow access to level one. Fine. Let's clear all that. Um, and let's have a door for level one. Uh, I'm going to go a bit further back. Here we go. This will be level one door. Door. Level one. I'm going to come up uh, with my key card. With this key card. And I'm going to click on the door. Here's the button to open the door. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to execute store result score let's get a fake player we called key card into the level score we created earlier we will run data get from an entity nearest player selected item dot tag dot key card okay i'm just going to copy that bit there control copy 
done. So if we run that in chat, let's get the key card in our hand, F3D to clear the chat. Let's put that in and take all of that off. Selected item. So we can look at the selected item, but I'm not interested in all of that. I just want key card. So let's have a look. ID Minecraft count 1B, right, open up tag. So let's open up tag. Run the same command again, if I can get rid of it. Oh, clear the chat to make it easier to see. Run the same command again, but let's go into tag as well. Okay, now we're just looking inside tag and we can see key card 1B. Okay, I want that one. That's all I want. Let's clear the chat. And let's go into key card. Now I've just got one. Okay, I've got the number I want. So that is what this is doing. It's going into the selected item, into the tag, into the key card and storing that number into fake player key card into their level score. Now we can use that number. We can do some checks on it. I will execute, <laughs> oh dear me. I will execute uh, if score and we called them key card level matches. Now this is a level one door. So if it equals one or higher, run say uh, door open. Okay, so I punch it with my hand, nothing. Well, let's uh, do that first. Punch it with my hand, nothing. Punch it with another item, nothing. Punch it with the key card, nothing. <laughs> it's, always, it's always nice when things work perfectly the first time, isn't it? Now, probably we've got a name wrong somewhere. Key card level, key card level, unknown scoreboard. Okay, so we've done the thing which I am always doing. We didn't, it, we didn't um, activate the scoreboard. Okay, let's do it now. Nothing with the key card, door open. Cool. Let's. Control middle mouse to copy this command and everything in it. And we'll change it always active chain. And let's make a new key card. Level two. Key card level two. So we've changed its law, we changed its name, and let's change its custom tag to 2B. And let's give it a different um a different record as well. Uh far will do. This is off the top of my head. There we go. So now we should be able to get two key cards clear. Let's have a look. We have key card level two, allow access to level two. Key card level one, allow access to level one. I think we should name this to allow access to up to, allow access up to level two, because it will do one as well. So we will with hand, nothing. With key card level one, the door is open, and key card level two, the door is open. Because we are one or higher. It's pulling the two. So that's that's higher than one, the door opens. Okay. Let's do let's just control middle mouse, control middle mouse, put you down, put you down. This will be door level two. Right, so we're going to get the, 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 the number, same as we did before, keep that identical. This time we're just going to say, are you two or higher? Yeah, okay, done. Now we come along, we do it with our hand, nothing happens at all. We do it with key card one, nothing happens at all. We do it with key card two, the door is open. Nice. Okay, um, let's add some extra bits on there. Let's uh, Let's get another one here. And we'll put this on the end and we will say execute um, uh, if score execute if score fake player who we call key card level matches one I suppose one because only one is lower than two matches one run say oops run say insufficient level done okay so now if we hit it with level with uh, any item 
nothing, hand, nothing, level one, insufficient level, so it knows it's a key card, insufficient level, and level two, door open. Nice. Um, and then let's do, if we were gonna do a higher level, so let's say this was gonna be level five, door level five, we need, let's copy this, control, little mouse, let's get a level five key, access up to level five, key card level five, key card tag level five. Okay, so what do we need to change? First one, we keep the same, we get the score. Second one, well here, we need to say five or higher. I pressed F5, <laughs> five or higher. And here, we need to say one to four. Done, okay. Let's clear our inventory. Let's give ourselves some key cards. Let's check them. Key card one, key card two, key card five. Punch it with hand, nothing. With a block, nothing. Key card one, insufficient. Key card two, insufficient. Key card five, door open. And all three should work on this door. One, two, three. Yes, okay, so that, I mean, that's pretty much system in place. Um, we, could add, we could add some extra stuff. We could pop on the end here, let's get this. Pop that on the end. And we could say, let's have a think, What's, what could we do? We could execute if score, fake player, key card, level, oopsies, key card level matches zero or lower, run say, Please use valid key card. Done. Okay, let's try again. Use our hand. Please use valid key card. Use an item. Please use valid key card. Use a key card that's not a high enough level. Insufficient level. Insufficient level. Door open. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, since we are activating this with a button, it's only ever going to be done when the player presses a button. We are not doing this in repeat. We could get away with using some NBT as well. Now, it's absolutely fine just to do it once every now and then. You just don't want to be repeating it continuously. NBT checks, hmm, we don't want to be doing them lots. But we're just going to press a button to open a door, so we'll get away with two. So, because we could add, and this, to be honest, is just a little bit extra that you don't need. We could execute unless entity at p uh, mbt equals open and close selected item open and close run say that's your hand done okay so now now we've got level five door let's try something that's not a key card please use a valid key card let's try empty hand we've got two messages please use a valid key card that's your hand okay and the others will work as normal insufficient door open we can if we don't mind doing two nbt checks we could copy this one from here home copy and paste it at the beginning of this one. Execute if the entity is holding an item. Done. Now, personally, I don't think we need to check. We, we can remove two NB checks, NBT checks. The only reason they're there is so we can be silly and say, hey, that's your hand. It, I don't think it's really worth doing this last bit, but in case you wanted to. So now we have, that's your hand. Please use a valid key card. Insufficient level. Insufficient level and key card five, door open. So all you need to do there is change the here. So instead of saying door open, you would set a redstone block, which would open the door um, or whatever you want to do. You can change the, the, those commands to whatever you like. 
Okay, there we go. So we have multiple access key cards. That's the best way I could think of calling them. If your, your, your key card will open anything its level or lower. Right, that's it for today. And this one was a suggestion by Tactical Turtle. Um, and I thought that sounds interesting, actually. Yeah, let's do it. So see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.